Trade war erupts over EU tariffs on Chinese EVs. The European Union has imposed tariffs on electric vehicles imported from China. This decision aims to protect the European EV market from what it perceives as unfair competition. The EU accuses China of providing substantial subsidies to its EV manufacturers. These subsidies allegedly give Chinese companies an unfair advantage in the global market. Chinese EV manufacturers have gained a significant competitive edge through these subsidies. Their lower production costs allow them to offer more affordable electric vehicles, challenging European counterparts. China vehemently denies the EU's allegations of unfair subsidies. Chinese officials argue that their EV industry success stems from innovation and efficiency rather than government support. In response to the EU's tariffs, China has labeled this move as protectionist. Chinese authorities claim the tariffs undermine free trade principles and harm international economic relations. Historically, trade relations between the EU and China have been marked by both cooperation and tension. The two economic giants have often found themselves at odds over various trade practices. The EU accuses China of providing unfair subsidies to its electric vehicle manufacturers. These subsidies supposedly give Chinese companies an undue advantage, disrupting fair competition within the European market. Chinese EV manufacturers have gained a significant competitive edge thanks to these alleged subsidies. They offer high-quality vehicles at lower prices, posing a serious threat to European automakers. China denies the EU's claims regarding unfair subsidies, asserting that its market practices comply with international norms. Beijing argues that its EV industry success is due to innovation and efficiency. In response to the tariffs, China has labeled them as protectionist measures. Beijing argues that these tariffs are aimed at stalling the progress of its burgeoning electric vehicle industry. The legal frameworks governing international trade disputes involve intricate rules established by organizations like the WDO, aiming to ensure fair practices and resolve conflicts through arbitration and compliance mechanisms. Potential escalation scenarios in the EU-China trade dispute could include retaliatory tariffs, intensified regulatory scrutiny, or increased diplomatic tensions, potentially disrupting broader economic relations and leading to prolonged negotiations. Reactions from other major global economies to the EU's tariffs have been mixed, with some expressing support for fair trade enforcement while others caution against potential ripple effects on global commerce. Possible long-term implications for global EV market dynamics include shifts in supply chains, increased regional production, and potential realignment of market shares as companies and countries adapt to new trade barriers. Responses from European and Chinese consumers and businesses reflect concerns over rising costs, supply chain disruptions, and potential delays in EV adoption, highlighting the interconnected nature of the global automotive industry. The World Trade Organization plays a crucial role in mediating international trade disputes, providing a platform for dialogue and resolution. Its involvement could help de-escalate tensions between the EU and China. Chinese EV companies are exploring strategic moves to mitigate the impact of EU tariffs. These include diversifying export markets, enhancing local production capabilities, and forming alliances with European firms to maintain competitiveness. EU's internal political dynamics significantly influence tariff decisions, reflecting broader concerns over economic sovereignty and fair competition. Policymakers must balance protecting local industries with fostering international trade relationships. The future outlook for EU-China trade relations is uncertain amidst the ongoing dispute. Both sides may seek to negotiate compromises, but prolonged tensions could lead to a more fragmented global trade landscape. Assessing the broader implications for global trade policies, this dispute highlights the challenges of balancing national interests with globalization. It underscores the need for robust frameworks to ensure fair and equitable trade practices.